a, a youngster and then curve to go straight up again. And um, I forget again, uh, what on the radar, weather radar do you use now? Hey guys, good morning and welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR. If you haven't checked out my website, go to www.k0pir.us. I've got lots of videos on the ICOM 7610 and the ICOM 7300. Well, ICOM came out with new firmware and that enabled the USB 3 high speed port on the back of the radio. And I got HD SDR going with a USB 3 cable. And boy, it is really nice. I'll show you how to get it set up. That's coming up. Okay, well, the first thing you want to do is get that new firmware. If you got the ICOM 7610, go over to ICOM's website, download the new firmware, and get it installed. That, uh, I've got a video on. I'll put a link below and up here in the top right-hand corner. And please remember to like, subscribe, and share. That uh, really helps out this YouTube channel, and uh, I get more videos done that way. So download the firmware, get it installed, follow that video that I've got, and then uh, you want to go over and take a look at the document that they have on the ICOM website. And I've got it pulled up here, and it's got some really important uh, notes. You want to read over it uh, pretty carefully. You get the firmware installed, and uh, before you do anything, don't connect that, that USB 3 cable and uh, don't uh, install anything else until you read this. Go through it and uh, have a look at it. You want to confirm that you have the ICOM 7610 new firmware and you want to install HDSDR and here's a link to it. I'll put a link below. Install HDSDR and then go and download and install the ICOM 7610 USB IQ package for HDSDR. Get that installed. And then what I did, they have some more links below. I went ahead and I installed those extra packages for CW Skimmer. And I'll show you that later. But for right now, we just want to get the firmware, HDSDR, and then that USB IQ package for HDSDR installed. Get all of that installed, and then you can connect your USB cable to your radio. But before you do that, make sure your radio is powered off. Connect the radio, or connect the cable to the radio. Power on the radio, and as soon as you do that, you can go into Device Manager, and I just type it in there and then pull it up. Go into the device manager and down here at the bottom, USB or Universal Serial Bus Controllers, double click on that and you should see that IC7610 IQ out port. If you don't see that, then you've got a problem. You'll have to go back and reinstall the uh, package for it. You want to take a look at the system requirements I have a 64-bit system, and that's what I installed for. You can scroll through and take a look at it, but I'm going to do something really simple, just using the 7610 with HD SDR. And uh, there's another, you can go and use HD SDR as a third receiver, and you can use HD SDR with CW Skimmer. But for right now, we're just going to do 7610 with HD SDR. And once you see uh, that port in Device Manager, uh, once you, you, you got that port, the I, IC7610 IQ port, you should be ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and shut down HDSDR. You find the icon for it, and I've got it down here on my taskbar. And I'm going to start it, and yours will start up similar to this and if you've been using it with another radio you can go into options and you can go into uh, the miscellaneous options and reset to factory settings uh, once you do that you can take a look at the EXTIO select it 
and this is what it should look like. Uh, the sampling rate is 1.92 megahertz. The main and sub, I've got it set to main. Sync mode, we're going to do this real simple, only HD SDR. Antenna 1 is what I'm using. Preamps off, I got my attenuator to 3. Normally it's off, and normally the RF gain is set to max. So once you get that set up, you want to take a look at your sound card and we're going to be using the speakers on the computer and mine are Realtek high definition speakers. Take a look at the bandwidth. The bandwidth is 192 and the output is 48. They recommend anywhere between 48 and 12,000 so I've got mine set a little bit higher. You can take a look at the options and under your rig control what you normally have is something like DDE to HDSDR or you're using Omni rig and we're not going to use any of that. Uh, we're going to just use the EXTIO that ICOM provides for the 7610. So none of this stuff should be activated. Um, none of the DDE, DDE to HDSDR or CAT to radio, Omni rig, none of that should be activated. And uh, let's take a look at the uh, the input. It's the 7610, and uh, the, the the output channel AF, both channels, and that's the default. And then this one is of course set to default. And the RF front end. Let me show you what I have. It is uh, the SDR hardware connected to the antenna, and uh, that's the default. And let's look at uh, options and miscellaneous options. Uh, I have auto start selected, and then uh, normal process priority default. Go back into options. And I'm not going to go through calibration. We don't need to do any of that. None of that. The mouse wheel you can play around with. Mine is set uh, mode, uh, tune, and direction is inverted for me. And then again, none of this stuff is set up. Uh, over here, let me get rid of that. Over here, after options, we really don't need to go into anything else. I've got mine muted right now. But I'm going to go ahead and unmute it and then click start. I'll turn down my radio. Click start. And I have my volume turned up. I'm over on 39.98. The low uh, local oscillator is 3973. That's what my radio is set to. And right now, HDSDR is not syncing with the radio. Uh, we're paying attention to the tune right here, and if I select a signal, you can see it goes over 3948. Try that one. Every time I click, click on one, it disappears. Oh, here's somebody over here pretty strong. Back to 3998. And yours may look a little bit different down here. You've got some sliders that you can play around with. And this down here, the sliders, you can play around with the zoom. Zoom in and out. And you can change the filter width. He disappeared. Everybody's disappearing on 80 meters. I usually have mine around 24. But it's a lot of fun to work with. And then uh, later on, you can, if you want to, you can use full sync in both directions. I'll select that. And now my radio is tuned with, or synced with HDSDR. So if I select the signal in HDSDR, my radio tunes to it. Okay, so that's it. It's real simple, uh, not hard to do.
Uh, just uh, for a recap, what you want to do is go to look at this document and download that firmware, get it installed, and I have a video on that. And then uh, go and find uh, HDSDR, and here's a link to it. I'll put a link below. And then install HDSDR, and then install the ICOM 7610 USB IQ package for HDSDR. Install those, and then you can connect the USB 3 cable to the port on the back of the radio. I'll put a link below. I got the USB 3 cable from Amazon, and it's a true USB 3 cable. It works really good. Uh, they have some other cautions in here. And uh, you want to make sure that you take a look at that. Uh, you know, I found that it worked really well. I didn't really have any problems with it. Um, I just needed to uh, make sure that uh, HDSDR was not using uh, OmniRig. And I had it set up to use OmniRig before. And uh, it's not using DDE to HDSDR. And of course, uh, CAT to HDSDR, that's not activated. So after uh, I disable those things, we're using the EXT-IO for uh, the control. And it works really well. Uh, I've been using it like this. So basically, I can listen on one frequency with HDSDR. And then listen to another frequency with my ICOM uh, 7610. So uh, there you go. If you have any questions or comments, please make them below. I'll do an article on my website. That'll be coming up shortly. So have a look at that, www.k0pir.us. I'll go into a little bit more detail. So thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also tell your friends. 73 and good DX.